in the saddle. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I actually have a song we can sing today. <laughs> I have a song. For Matthew? Oh. Yes? He, he has a hymn that he can sing today. Oh, I have a song. He has a hymn, not a song. I know a song. You know, okay. so. Uh, Just that. Right. Party all the time. Without party all the time. Please. Party all the time would work. Uh -huh. Party all the time. Right? With these texts, party all the time. It's a wedding feast. He's already praying. Nah. <laughs> no, but you don't know who's saying party all the time. No, I, I think it was Eddie Murphy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he, he ventured into doing some songs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, it's so good to have you back. Oh. I, didn't, I didn't have anybody to bounce these off of and get the reaction I get out of you, especially when everybody can see it. Maybe I need to sit on the other side <laughs> of the camera. <laughs> Oh my God. And and, and uh, we have a uh, guest pastor filling in this weekend, right. uh, Wayne uh, Wayne Rittering from Ritter. South South Carolina, and uh, he's preaching on the gospel text. Come to the feast. Come to the feast. Come to the feast. And we'll we'll and see. We'll have a feast. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be, again. That would be a disappointing Sunday if this was on a. One of those Sundays we don't have Holy Communion, right. you know. Mm -hmm. I know. Which which happened to me what a couple months ago, where it was so primed to do communion and we didn't have communion. Didn't have so yes, well, this you got to get into the, the sequence of things so you get the right Sundays with the right sermons. Or we just have communion every Sunday. Ah. Oh, Judy's going to get me on that. Hi, Judy. <laughs> 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 but Judy, Judy watches. Oh well, yeah, Pam wa is watching today too. So Pam, uh, no. <laughs> but Pam was here. Fortunately, she's just watching. <laughs> she might be throwing things at us. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we give you thanks again as uh, we gather together as we get into the Word in preparation for Sunday. And uh, again, I, I thank you for the congregation having the, having the privilege of a guest pastor. Uh, to proclaim that word and I, I thank you for uh, the opportunity Jack and I have to and make preparation uh, for that time together and especially knowing uh, the theme of the texts and having Holy Communion with that uh, again as we as we look at that wedding feast as, as we look at uh, not only that time when uh, Christ returns when when the groom comes to claim his bride but also that we have those moments uh, with Holy Communion, that we have a foretaste of the feast to come. So guide us and lead us in, in our time together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Psalm 23 is first. Yeah. We've never done Psalm 23. I can't remember. <laughs> How many times this year? Probably. Probably been three times this year. Well, I know I, I, know, I, know I know we, had notes on it twice. I know we've already done it this year. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as, as Jack and I were talking about, I said, I didn't do anything to my Bible. Where I, I, I always write my notes in my Bible. I said, I didn't even touch it because I wouldn't be able to read anything at that point. <laughs> uh, how are you going to read this? Uh, I'll go ahead. i got a whole bunch of stuff on it. So. Okay, well, <laughs> you know I'll interrupt you. I know you will. Okay. <laughs> Inside joke. Okay. A Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head 
with oil, and my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It's really hard to you, read this without the King James Version. Uh, I was going to say, <laughs> you want it in, in verse 4, you, you want it to say, yay, no, yeah, I, yeah. I, I mean, You paused for a moment. I, 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 was, I, saw, I saw you. I, I, saw you I, I was ready for you to slip it's, into that. I mean, you know, we grow up with this stuff and we commit it to memory. And then it's now, it's like breaking a habit, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's difficult. Well, you want to be difficult. Uh, <laughs> you know, the message? So I, I don't like the message version at all. But some things bring back memories that I grew up with, Psalm 23, and then when I went to Nam, they posted another Psalm 23, a military version. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, good. Especially when I got to the part about the enemies. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and again, I, I think verse 5 is really the, the verse that hangs with the rest of the text. Right, the table. Right, preparing, right, preparing the table. But but I know there's some other things in there. I, I know in the past you you've really picked up on the anointing the head mm -hmm. and the cup overflowing, which I think would would fit in with all of the text this week. Kind of, yeah, yeah, because yeah, with the blessing and everything that goes. Yeah, okay. Right, let's let's go back. Okay. Um, the Lord is my shepherd. You know that that's my that's me personal. You know, I'm thinking it. It's not. It's not a group. It's. It's a confession of me personally. Right. And then I think of the shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. What does it mean to be a shepherd? Now, that's very humbling and humiliating in a sense when you think of Jesus being a shepherd, because shepherds at the time that this was written were not looked upon very well. Okay. They were always, they're outside, they're outcast, they're dirty, and they were stinky. I recall, I recall a Christmas Eve sermon yeah. where a pastor said that. Yeah. And if he's our shepherd, we're the sheep, and that's it, even I mean, worse. Our, our dirt, our stink, yeah. rubs off on our shepherd. Well, and, and if you would preach this, he, he purposely takes on our stink. Exactly, because you know, he, he gets down in. He's not a, a shepherd. A shepherd doesn't sh shepherd from a distance. A shepherd shepherds from within. He's real he's close in, and personal. He's in the dirt. He's in the mud. You know. I mean, it's you know. He is our shepherd. He takes on our sin. He's taking on our sin. Exactly. Exactly. And that's, that's why I say that's that. That's where you would hang the preaching. And then on, I, on that, and, yeah. then, and then I think of the text of, of Jesus' words in the New Testament, where it says, "You know, I am the shepherd; my sheep know my voice." Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and what is he saying? I mean, they didn't appreciate the shepherd; they didn't appreciate the sheep. I mean, yeah, they wanted the goodies, but mm -hmm. no, yeah. you're stinky, you're dirty, you're outside the gate. Well, and, and, and that knowing that voice, I, I was an RA for one year uh, in, in college. And so, you know, I oversaw, oversaw a whole wing uh, on campus. I was sort of the ones to make sure that they obeyed the rules and all that. Yeah. And I got, I got so good, I could tell them by the voice, when, when they came in the hallway, I could, I could hear them and I could tell who was who by their voice. I got so good, I could I could tell them by just their footsteps down the hallway. But that that's that's what that means. He he knows, he us, knows us so well. Exactly. He knows our habits. He knows he knows everything. And 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 because he knows everything about us, he hangs with us that we begin to know him. Right. Because we know his voice. And he leads. He leads us. Right. Well, that it says it a few times in here. Right? <laughs> he leads me. Leads me where? Everywhere I go. Right. right. Um, you know, and he's the one. I mean, we think about this. You know, we think about Jesus here. You know, he's the one who's restoring my soul mm -hmm. through the cross. 
He leads me through through everything in life. Oh, he's restoring us through uh, word and sacrament. Yeah, there you go. Through body and blood. Through body and blood. Through the, the wedding feast. The wedding feast. <laughs> you know, he prepares that table that we're talking about. Yeah, exactly. yeah, you know, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, to the point that my head is anointed with the wall and my cup overflows. And we think about that. We go, wait a minute. Oh, I'm, I'm struggling through life. Things aren't great. I have a lot of things I still want. Oh, doesn't say anything about wants, does it? No. You're sort of slipping into uh, the epistle text now. A little bit. It all ties, right? It all ties. I mean, he takes care of our needs. And sometimes our wants are something we absolutely do not need. That ties in well with the guy at the end of the, the parable. Mm -hmm. that okay well it sort of fits in with my sermon last Sunday okay God this is how we think our church should be right so so, so, line so, it up. so, so make the adjustments God yeah change, change your course of action do it my way <laughs> oh Frank Sinatra I'll there you go one. I don't want you to <laughs> <laughs> no no you're, I, mean, I, I mean and you're so and, and again I'll, I'll, I'll have to bring up the Philippians text it's about contentment. Yeah. If if we're always looking for something more, something else, it's it's we're taking God's role. We're we're saying this is not enough or this isn't good enough. And and and, and when you hear this, how can this not be good enough? Well, that's the point. How we can take, this not be good enough? We take the twenty third Psalm. We've heard it so many times. It's 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 everywhere we go. We don't think about it. Mm -hmm. We speak the words, but we don't think about it. It's like the Lord's Prayer, okay? Mm -hmm. It just becomes every day, but we we just don't get into the to the teaching and the instruction of it. You know, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. If I did the Lord's Prayer one Sunday and stopped after the first phrase, what do you think would happen? Oh, they keep going until they realize you stop. I mean, we talked about that uh, we, years ago. Right, 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 because again, you talked about it saying that you like to stop. Uh, After each line, right. it's like, okay, let's, what did I just say? I mean, I, you wouldn't do that, but. Why not? We, <laughs> we race through the Lord's Prayer. Right. We race through the 23rd Psalm. We race through the creed. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, it's it's familiar, you know? And that's the, that's the scary thing about liturgy. I love liturgy, but I want to take the time and do it right. You know, it's. What's ironic is we race through the spoken parts and we slow down the sung parts. <laughs> hymns, hymns slow down. It's amazing how I have to push. Yeah. Be, because we drag the hymns. Oh, yeah. And, was, and, 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 and we race through the, the I, creed and the. I watched Logan sitting here going, and I guess he needs to speed it up. <laughs> Sorry, Louis, I gave it up. I'm sorry. I'm not yeah. talking about Louis. And, no, no, not Louis and Brian's. No. No, <laughs> no and, 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 and she and I have talked about no, the, the, mean, the frustration sometimes of, of trying. The congregation goes one way, you're going one way, and she's caught between. Right. Us. And right. she has a hard job. I really, it's right. It's, it's not easy. Work. But uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> over <laughs> three it, It's amazing how difficult that is. Trying to do that, but yeah, yeah. Uh, again, it, it comes into that matter of: Do we take the time to reflect on all that we have, even in the midst of? Yea, though I walk, I, I have to go there. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, because too often in those moments, we we forget we forget how much we have. Well, we say that. Yea, though I walk through. Do you know that's a that that verb is a it's a it's a tense the tense of the verb is continual, right? It's it's well, in other words, we walk through the valley of death every moment of our lives, right? Now, now, key word there is through. We, we walk get, through it. through. That means guess what? It's all around us. We're, yeah, but it means but we're, 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 we're going to get to the other side. We're going to get there. We're going to get to the other side. We walk yeah. through it. We don't walk into it. We walk through, through it. it. Yeah. The shepherd leads us. We follow him. 
And what's uh, on the other side? <laughs> life. Well, do we always follow? That was sort of the sense of last Sunday sermon, yeah, you know? Well, <laughs> and, what, and what happens when we don't follow? We do it my way. <laughs> and we can't do it my way. It doesn't work. Oh, Lord, you need to change your, yeah. your direction. Come on. Restore us. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, and, and this is the restoration. This is the restoration. Uh, and that's the comfort. That's why this is spoken at funerals. This is the comfort that, it, in, well, that comes up in, in Isaiah. Um, death surrounds, oh man, Israel, death surrounds that whole nation. Right. You know, I can't imagine, you know, what they went through and still going through. Still going through. Uh, uh, yeah. Again, the, pre the, the ever present nature of evil. Uh, we don't fully understand, but we have a God who does understand. Yeah, and, 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 and so he takes care of it, even though sometimes we feel like, oh, Lord, how long? How long, oh, Lord? But realize in the midst of it, he's taking care of he's us. He's taking care of it, and it's our perseverance and our trusting in the Lord is what it's all about. And mm -hmm. he's, I think mm -hmm. the whole thing, even though it's over there or, or far away, it's still testing us in, in our attitudes and our strengths. Right. Of what do we do? What can we do? How do we approach that? Do we even, do we have a concern? Does it burden our heart? Do we pray for those people? Do we look up and try to figure out what we can do for others? Luann and I were talking yesterday and I said, you know, I, I know some, some, Christian denominations get into praying for Israel because uh, the Lord won't come again until Israel is restored. Yeah. And and Well, and and that becomes the reality because Israel is it's Jesus us. is Jesus, it's, and and it's us in Jesus. But I also said we need to pray for Hamas. Yeah, we yeah. need to pray for their hearts to be changed, right? Because I I can't imagine. And, and 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 you hear it on those videos that they that they they posted videos of their killing. Yeah. Right. And and you hear the joy that is coming from them in doing this. It's like that's pure evil. Yes. And and they need to be prayed for. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, uh, again, it, as as evil surrounds us, we've got a passage like this that reminds us right. we have hope because we know we will get through well, and, and that's where the rest of the text really go is the getting through. through it you know what you do he prepared he becomes the host he prepares a table before us right. he takes care of us you know goodness and mercy is all around us yeah and we, and we are a part of that and we're going to dwell in his house forever and the anointing with oil as you explained before it's, it's not just a put a little dab of do you no, on no, it. It's, it's, it's pouring it on you that it just it runs just down you. Yeah. Uh, it's done in abundance, so. Yeah. Yeah. And not only have to pray for Hamas, you have to pray for the people of the United States who are Palestinian, praising. Praising yeah. what's being right. done. Yeah, right. I saw that. Right. On the, it's, right. You know, no, this, it, it, we it, are in some terrible, terrible times, you know, and and I'm not going to get political here, but I am concerned for our nation here. I mean, not the whole world, yes, but our nation here. We're 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 not right side up at all. No, no. 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 actually, they are depressed is not the correct word, but really, I'm just saying. Yes, they're in office, but people elected them. Yeah, yeah and, and still want them back in. Yeah. Oh and and this is why we have, as the church, we have to be driven to the Word. Our yeah. hope is only in Jesus Christ. Right. And and, and and so and so yes, if 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 we pin our hopes on the elected officials, uh, we we will be disappointed. We need to put our. He will get us through whatever that through looks like. Don't know. But he will get us through, in the meantime, through word sacrament. And he may put people in there that are corrupt and crooked and are the worst in our minds' decisions. But is he doing it for our good to turn us to repentance? 
Oh. Now you're preaching my sermon next Sunday. Because <laughs> next Sunday is about Cyrus. Oh my gosh. So you're preaching you're preaching next Sunday I mean, sermon. You know, what do we do? Because what yeah, Cy- like, Cyrus was not a believer. He was not a he believer. He did not know God. But God God chose him to do his bidding. Right? Woo! Yes. Preach it. Preach it. That's next Sunday sermon. Oh. Okay, well, I'll be back in <laughs> <on> my head again. <laughs> We move on. We, we go to the gospel, Matthew 22. And this is the sermon text for Sunday that Pastor Rittering will proclaim. Oh, my gosh. The psalm took us 21. Well, we didn't take us 21. But, but yeah, yeah, well. It took us a while. Yeah, okay. You got a blo- a bloviated. <laughs> <laughs> I love this finger. <laughs> See, the problem is I've been doing a lot of crossword puzzles lately. Oh, Boy, okay. does that really mess you up on your... Matthew, okay. 22. Matthew 22, 1 through 14. 1 through 14. Um, again, a parable. Uh, parables are tough because you, you can't... you, you got to be careful not to overdo. Right. But this one becomes a little tricky. There's some tricky stuff in here. So so we'll, we'll try to manage as best we can. I, I, I love the, 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 the ironicness of it. You know, it says... Uh, one. The kingdom of heaven, and he's standing before them, and he is the kingdom. <laughs> right. Well, and, and that's and, and we'll, when we get into it, that's the struggle because again, I, I, I think typically when we hear wedding feast, we think of his return. Mm-hmm. But I think in this case, it's right now. We, we've got to think of the the now, not yet mm-hmm. involved in this. Right. Uh, so, so, and that's where we got to hold this intention. Uh, So, so, uh, Matthew 22, beginning at verse 1. And again, Jesus spoke to them in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son and sent his servants to call those who were invited to the wedding feast, but they would not come. Again, he sent other servants, saying, Tell those who are invited, See, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fat calves have been slaughtered, and everything is ready. Come to the wedding feast. But they paid no attention and went off, one to his farm, another to his business, while the rest seized his servants, treated them shamefully, and killed them. The king was angry, and he sent his troops and destroyed those murderers and burned their city. Then he said to his servants, The wedding feast is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go therefore to the main roads and invite to the wedding feast as many as you find. And those servants went out into the roads and gathered all whom they found, both bad and good. So the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to look at the guests, he saw there was a man who had no wedding garment. And he said to him, friend, How did you get in here without a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then the king said to the attendants, bind him hand and foot and cast him into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth, for many are called, but few are chosen. And the the video said, should have just stopped at 10. Yeah, right. (laughs) Because when you get to 11, Start, you raise that, okay, okay, why is this here? Why, yeah, exactly. why is this here? So, so we start at the beginning. Again, like last Sunday, we've got to hear, the kingdom of heaven is like, right. can be compared to. Realize that this is talking about the kingdom of heaven, and as you said, the kingdom of heaven was standing yeah. right in front of them. But again, in our sense, the kingdom of heaven is when we gather and worship, when we have word and sacrament right in front of us. Uh, but it's even here. You know, as we gather together as his people. Uh, because again, the Holy Spirit's going to work through us. So, so, so the kingdom of heaven is wherever those of faith are present. Exactly. Did you see the text, the Revelation text in here, though, as we were reading through this? How so? With the end times, the well, plagues. And all the things that are going to happen. Right. Well, and, and that's why I said, you know, typically with a wedding feast text, we are talking end times. Yeah. But but again, I dare not want to dismiss it as only end times because guess what? 
we're having the wedding feast on Sunday. Right. Well, you are, because I won't be in attendance with y'all, but, uh, but you're, you're having the wedding feast on Sunday. Anytime we have communion, right. that, that there is the wedding feast. Um, and there we sit at the banqueting table. There, there he, he, you know, give, well, as we'll find out in Isaiah, he gives us the finest food. Yeah, right? Yeah. Not the cheap stuff. But, but no, notice that the people who were invited would not come. And and then and then he did he he went after them again and 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 they even they even ramped it up. They um they paid no attention. Right. They disregarded the invitation. Right. They sort of thumbed their nose up at him. But but isn't that what we see? You know, when we talk about worldly events, isn't that what we right. see in the world? Yeah. Here or not. That that people are presented with with the good news of Jesus Christ, with the hope of Jesus Christ, and it's not only that they don't come, which some are doing. Some of them blatantly disregard him uh, and, and and reject him. You know that that's that sense of you know paid no attention and went went off. You know it's just sort of I'm going to turn the other way and, and go. So it's a complete disregard. But then you get then you get the ones who outrightly kill him. Yeah. yeah, I mean I know we're talking here. It, it's a parable, but it, it's so easy to compare this to what happened to Jesus. It, it's so easy to compare that today to what's going on with us and the, and the persecution of Christians. Right. You know, I mean, which we, we don't experience. We do not. Well, we do in a very mild, mild sense. Well, we, we but not this. We have the we have the first ones, the ones that pay no attention, pay no attention. And, and went off. Yeah, we have that, yeah. but we don't have the other one. We we don't. Uh, we, you know, fortunately, <laughs> I don't know how I would stand up. I mean, I I hope that I would have enough faith to stand there and proclaim Jesus. And you know what? If you didn't, you'd still be saved. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, be, be, because your salvation is not based on your standing. Exactly, it's based on what the Lord's done for me. Right. You know, and and I fall short in so many ways, and so many times. Can you keep track? I don't want to even think about it. <laughs> that gets into last night's lesson, right? Yeah. But I don't want to know about. I don't know how many jewels are going to be on my crown, right? Uh, it, 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 None, because the jewel is going to be standing in front of you. No, no, no. That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm talking about the rewards and on the second, on the second uh, seat, where Christ says, "Well done, good and faithful servant." And or you should have done better, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> no, you either hear what, "Well done, good and faithful servant," or you're cast into the lake of fire. Well. I'm not talking about that judgment. I'm talking about the second judgment, about our works, what we were given to do and what we didn't do. You, you'll either hear, well done, good and faithful servant, or you'll be cast into the lake of fire. Well, I'm not going to be cast into the lake of fire. There you go. Then you'll hear, well done, that. good and faithful servant. I know that. Leave, leave, the, leave the rest of that other stuff <laughs> for Jesus to decide. Yeah. yeah. Whether you get a mansion or an outhouse. It doesn't, want, doesn't make a difference. I don't want to be caught in there in the wrong way. Let's put it that way. No, 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 no. It, it's no not, it, that's the... That's the <laughs> no, Marvin. No, Jesus. <laughs> right. And that... Well, before we get to that, yeah. um, interesting thing, I, I, I looked up in, in verse 9. Go therefore... You know, so, basically, he's he's again talking to the... Oh, yeah. The Pharisees. He's talking to the Pharisees here. They they are the ones who who thumb their nose at him that kill right. kill the messengers. You know he he he's talking about them still like we heard last week. But then then you know he says go therefore to the main road. the Gentiles and, the cast well, out, the, the, the low ranks. But yeah, but 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 this term for the main road is it's it's the one that intersects the 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 key road into the city so it, it really is it's the sense of the gentile it's it's the road that's leading out of town you know once you once you get take the main road out of you know like 129 mm -hmm. you get 129 so so when when you get about to um you know right before you get to the mountain 
that would be that road. Right. Whether you can turn turn left to go to um, um, Blood Mountain. Well, go straight to go to Blood Mountain, but the left hand oh, turn is Breast Town Ball. Breast Town Ball. Yeah. That that would that would be that inter That's what that yeah. is there. It's that intersection between where where now you are out of town, which as you said, it's really go to the Gentiles. Go to the Gentiles. It's go to the Gentiles. And, and and so And even more than that, well he says it, the bad and the good. Right. Because what were out on those highways at that time? Robbers, robbers thieves, murderers. I guess robbers and thieves are the same, but uh, yeah, used to say that together. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> see it, Tally. Uh, yeah, I mean, you think about the people that are being brought in, right? And that's me out there. Yeah. The bad. And everyone's a king. The bad. Right. Yeah. Right. right. Be because because they have nothing to stand on. They have no reason to be there, and and. and this is where you, you got, and again, did you watch the video on yeah. this? This is, again, this is where you have to play with, you, you bring in the custom, the traditional custom. It's not here in the text, but that's one direction you go, because the traditional custom in that day was when you were invited to the wedding banquet, you were given, you were given a wedding garment. Right. To go, to go into the banquet feast with. So not, not everybody had a wedding garment. So, so uh, again, what a great imagery of baptism because in baptism we are given the robes of Christ's righteousness. So you, I, I think, you know, a, again, as they play with that, I think you could go in that direction because it was traditional. And, and sometimes the traditions Jesus doesn't mention, right. but you, you assume that they know these things. So, so that's, that, that's where you can play with that, that odd second part is, He's not, he's not wearing his wedding garment. But uh, the other way that they took it was, he thought, I can just go in the way I am. Yeah. I, I can stand on my own side. My own so way. he was probably one of these guys who was one of the good ones coming in and go, I'm a good guy. I, I, I deserve to be here. I gave you the poor. I deserve to be here, so I'll just go in. Yeah. And 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 that's and that's the other angle you can take it where I didn't uh, go to jail because I didn't commit any crimes. I didn't kill I'd anybody. Never go over the speed limit. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, under I, it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it doesn't. It says maximum speed. It doesn't say minimum speed. Now on highways like the interstate, it says minimum forty-five. So I could get away with forty-five even on the interstate. But anyway, uh, <laughs> we digress. <laughs> I mean, you know, but I'm not a murderer. I'm not a thief. I, I, I gave to the poor. You know, I never cursed anybody. Of course, yeah, I don't think anybody could even. And 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 that's where you have to take the wedding. The wedding garment is Christ's righteousness. Christ's righteousness, not mine. So, so I I get into the wedding banquet not because of how I'm dressed. And that's why the good and the bad were there because it wasn't how they had clothed themselves, but it's the new clothing that the king gives them. That's the veil off the mountain. Right? Ooh, you're, you're slipping to Isaiah. Well, isn't it there? I mean, God provides it, right? Yeah. Well, there you do, do you want to slip into Isaiah now? Well, yeah. Is that is that next? Yep, that's the next one. Okay, all right, yeah. Isaiah okay. 25, that was a nice segue to it, so why not? Uh, did you catch it? You want to slip into you that? Slip into it? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Like you slip into a robe, you know. Isaiah 25, <laughs> starting with that's why you. That's why you, that's why you pick Psalm 23, so you get the shorty. This is a nice short. That's not long. Philippians? Yeah, it's longer than Isaiah. Okay, I guess Matthew was going All right, whatever. <laughs> I just had a lot on the song. I loved it. Isaiah 25, 6 through 9. This, this, this would be tempting to preach also, but I think I would, have preached, I would have preached on Philippians. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all his people a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wine, of rich food, full of marrow, 
of aged wine well refined. And he will swallow up on this mountain the covering that is cast over all people, the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever, and the Lord will wipe away tears from all faces, and the reproach of his people he will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him, that he might save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Yes. Amen. There is good law and gospel in this. It's both, yeah. Because you get that image of death in there. Yeah. But really, even in the image of death, it's gospel because, of the, because it's talking about what God does with it. You know, it's, it's and I, 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 I know, I got into the weeds a little bit here. But oh, really? I had to. I had to look up, we'll make for all peoples. I'm like, okay, all peoples, that's everybody? What well, verse is that? That's the first one. Uh, verse six. We'll make oh, for oh, all okay. peoples okay. of peace. Okay. But when I got into that, with the word all there is kol kol, K-O-L, K-O-L, which means all, okay, everybody. But the word people is the, is the Greek am, am. The, the Hebrew. The Hebrew, excuse me, which is specific people. His people. Okay. Okay? okay. So it's, it really should be, we'll make for all his people a feast. Because it's confusing in the ESV when it says for all people. And I, don't, well, I didn't look at the other verses. You, or, it is made for all people, but not all people will. But not all people are going to get this feast. Can, can, can you imagine? Not because he doesn't offer it, but because they Because they've rejected it. And that goes back to our text. So uh, they're, they're smelling, they're, they're getting the, the aroma of it, but they're not going to part, but they're partake of it. it. Exactly. Exactly. How horrible would that be? Can, can you it's imagine, hard to can drive you, by Burger King when they're cooking up the bacon and the burgers. I mean, I love that. I was, I was going to say barbecue. Okay, you go by a barbecue joint. Oh, that's and, a good country. Oh, oh man. man, and you smell that. Why do they have that smoker going out there? I know why. <laughs> <laughs> it's enticement. Yeah, right. I mean, I come into the house when I got a a, 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 a pot of sauce on. Oh, it's like, oh yeah, I, I'm ready. I, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Is it done yet? Is it done? I mean, it's enticing. It really is. Yeah. So you're going to have this, but it's for all his people. It's it's the chosen. It's right, right. All, only his chosen are going to partake of it. Yeah. Okay. And, 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 and it's rich food. It's well-aged wine, food full. Yeah. This is the finest. Yeah. I, I mean, it, bear no expense. Right. And, and again, yes, that's how you can treat it. He did bear no expense. He's put his son on the cross. He did, exactly. I know, I digressed a little bit. No, no, no. no. When, I, when I read that verse, I said, this doesn't, I had to do a little digging. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, to me it was clarifying. Um, but, but then you get that transition in seven. Mm -hmm. You get this beautiful imagery of the banquet that's, that we've been playing with. But then you get, you get this sense of death. The covering that is cast over all people. I'd be interested to see if that's the same all peoples. Uh, I didn't go back again, but, but again, it's on his mountain. Right. On this mountain, so. You know, uh, uh, the, the covering that is cast over all peoples, the veil that is spread over all nations. You know. uh, and, and that's sin and death. Well, it's sin resulting in death. Well, in the covering, the covering they said is the word for shroud, so, which is the pall in, in our in our sense of funerals, it's that covering that is put over the casket. Over the casket right. So so you know it's like watching watching what's happening in Israel when they've got the bodies covered. You know, not not just merely in plastic bags, but when they when, when right. they when they have them wrapped in sheets. Right. That's the that's the sense of the covering. So you know you're in the presence of death. Right. And, 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 and when I was looking through some commentaries on this one, it made me think of the Grim Reaper. Oh, wow. So, so, yeah. so, 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 so you, you get the green, Grim Reaper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Grim, Grim Reaper. He's harvesting his crops. 
right. with death so that he can partake of his banquet. Right. But then you get this image of God swallowing that up. Here God prepares the finest banquet for us. Right. And what does he eat? As, as the commentary said, is what's on God's plate? Death. That's yeah, right. On God's plate is that, and, and again, that that would be the gospel handle to go to the cross. He took it, he took it all, right? So, so he chose. Well, and you get that imagery in eight. He will swallow up death forever. So you get the image of he, him. He's going to do it just that. This this, this yeah. is his banquet. His banquet is death, so that we could have the banquet of the finest foods. I mean, swallowing it is ingesting it. Taking it's it's not just hey, I got it. I'm taking I'm, it in. I'm, I'm completely making it I'm mine. I'm taking it in. It's mine. Well, if you go through the whole uh, yeah, yeah, we're not going biological system. Well, you were going yeah, there. But, but isn't, it, isn't, that, isn't it true, though? Yeah. Isn't it true? It, it, becomes, it becomes pure waste for, those, for the, all those people that you said. His people. It becomes, for the unbeliever, it becomes reality. For us, death is waste. It, it has no power over us. And, and so then then we get the, the move out of swallowing of death, which is Christ on the cross. He will wipe away tears. There's your revelation right. uh, connection again. Yeah. He, he wipes away tears. Uh, he takes away the reproach. Um, and, and it will be said by all those on that day, this is our God. We have waited for him. We have waited for him. Yeah. Um, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'm waiting for him. Yeah. Continually go through it. Continually. I mean, it's on and on. It's every day, is it? Until he comes back again. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and yes, this is the description of the heavenly banquet. But again, as we say, with the, the description of communion, it's a foretaste of the feast to come. Yes. So our, our time at communion... You know, and, and that's why I purposely say, welcome to the Lord's table. Right. Uh, please kneel. Because it is the Lord's table. It, it is the banqueting feast right. for us right now that we get a glimpse of what it will be. Again, it's the finest of food because it's Christ's body and blood. And, and again, those, those theologies that say this is only a memorial meal, it it's, it's, you know, just represents, they miss out on this. Yeah. We get this every time we commune. Yeah. So that we can declare, behold, this is our God. He will save us. I get communion for the first time in many weeks this Sunday. Uh, I know I could have called you anytime. That, that, but I you know, you, you know, they, they should blow in barbecue smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what we need to do. Uh, have, a, have a cooker have out a on the road. Have, have, a cook, have a cooker outside on the side of the road. And, uh, no, we won't do that. Uh, uh, no, I don't think so. We're sitting here and you're there. Why? Lightning bolt. Uh, are we ready to go to Philippians? Well, I was just going to say, you know, the last verse is God's creation being recreated. Yep. All being redone, recreated, new heaven and new earth. Yep. You know this this time with him, but it's and, and all this sin and all that is taken away. Right. Right. Yeah, I guess we're. Yeah. Because we're we're we're, we're right, right on good time. Yeah. Philippians four, very famous passage. These are always the tough ones. Yeah. Because they're so familiar that you know, as you said earlier, we sometimes glance up. You know. Lord's Prayer, Apostles Creed, we just uh, twenty third Psalm, we just right. blow right through them, and and so hopefully, hopefully we can bring something new to the table. A again, verse thirteen is is that coffee cup slogan. Yeah, it is. That that is often misinterpreted and misunderstood. Yeah, and, and, and I, I I'm going to roll something out today that I hopefully will. And some pipe, some people put him, some people put Christ. You know, they, they switch it up. And... Well, and, and, and I don't like the translation of I can do all things. 
It, it, can, it, it is a correct translation. But I think the way people understand it, it's a misleading translation. Okay. Okay. So uh, Philippians 4, verses 4 to 13. Very familiar. Uh, really, this can be broken up into two or three different sermons, <laughs> I believe. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice, or I will keep on saying. I will, yeah. Rejoice. I will keep on saying, rejoice. Um, let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, and indeed there is, if there is anything worthy of praise, and indeed there is, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at length you have revived your concern for me. You were indeed concerned for me, but you had no opportunity. Not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low, and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Thank you. Where do you want to go? I want to go right back to verse five. Verse five? Yeah, I think we missed something here. In, in we didn't way, miss anything. I read it. In, in the way that it's translated. Okay. All right. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. Okay. The Lord is at hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not only is he at hand, if we go back, he's also ready. The word there in the Greek is egos. It means ready and willing. It's not just, well, you know, I can always call somebody, they're always there for me. But this is more so that he's not just there. He's waiting and he's ready. You know, we need to reach out. Well, in, in, in that in that sense <coughs> of do not be anxious. Yeah, don't. Yeah, it, be, right, and, and that's that sense of being at hand. Being at hand, you know, you, you think you think of a soldier. A soldier at hand is it's not like it's not only like you said. It's not only that he's right there, but he's right there, ready to act. Right. Is, it, is the soldier at hand in the barracks, or is the soldier at hand out there walking the wall? Right. There's two different because the one walking the wall with his with his rifle in hand. Right. He's ready, willing, and able. The one in the barracks is ready. He's an ant. To be called, to be done. Right. It means so much more that he's there. But but still, even the one in the barracks, he's at he's he's, 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 he's at he's ready for the call. He's, he's ready. ready. He, as soon as the call comes in, he's right. he's he's there. And, and that and that's what you were saying is the Lord is not just standing idly by us he's he's ready to act for it and and that's why he said you know um but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to god and and oh yeah it's seek ye first the kingdom of god uh -huh. it, it's, it's not just your uh, uh, oh god give me an orange truck <laughs> <laughs> that goes under the speed limit <laughs> No, it, 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 it's, 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 you know, it's, it's that reasonableness. It's that gentleness. It's that, hum it's, 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 humi so orange. It's, humi <laughs> it's humility. It's humility that, you know, let, let your reasonableness, let your gentleness, let your humility be known to everyone. Because as, as you know, you are confident in the Lord's readiness by your side. 
so that at the moment's notice, when you pray, and you pray, oh, what does the Lord's Prayer say? Thy will, Thy will be, be done. done. So if we're going to talk the talk, we need to walk the walk. No, as as I led the the thing at the conference, you got to talk the walk. Okay, I got you. Put them together. Put them together. We got to yeah. talk the walk. Yeah, walk the talk, talk the walk. Yeah. You know, I mean, if what's my story? Right, and, and 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 when do you tell your story? Wherever you're at, that's why it's talk the walk. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and, 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 I didn't know you did that at the conference. Yeah, yeah. It, it was the health and wellness event. Okay. Yeah, and we called it Talk the Walk. Yeah, and, and, and again, this is how this is why you can be content because you know the Lord's ready at your side. So you can have peace, the peace of God that passes all understanding. And and granted, I've shared this with people, is you don't truly know the peace of God until you have that moment where it feels like every Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow, yeah. when, when everything feels like it's caving in on you and somehow it's like, I'm okay. It, it doesn't worry you. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't create any, you, you just have this peace and, and you're okay. Yeah. It, the, the situation might not be resolved, but you know it will be resolved because, oh, guess what? The Lord is at hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it. How many times I've heard people say, well, I wouldn't know what to say, I wouldn't know how to act. Well, no, I don't know. And I don't know what to say, but I rely on him who as it is at hand to give me the words, to give me the actions, and to do his will, not mine. His will be done, not mine. You, you will know what to say, and the text tells you. Because as you, as you are approaching that time, as you're before that time ever happens, guess what you're doing? Look at verse 8. All right. Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable. Right. If, think about these. You're kind of, oh, oh, where, where, do you, where do you find true things, honorable things, just things, pure things? Oh, it's no longer I who live with the Lord. But, but, <laughs> but this, is, this is what he's saying. Think on these things. things. And how do we do that? Through him, we're, through through him, we're we're, we're, we're doing well. We're, we're going to get to that. We aren't there yet. <laughs> what time do we have? I got to make okay. sure we we, we, we get there. I know, I know, I know, I know. So it's it's, but it's not only think about these things. Did you catch that? No, it's no, it's, it's practice these practice. things. So 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 it's not enough to just study the word. It's also, as you just said, talk the walk. Right, talk the walk. Yeah. Study the word, but also practice the word. I would, I would love to. I would, we don't have time. I'm not going to do it. I would love to work, look up this word. Practice these things uh, to see if it's an active. Uh, mine says dwell. Dwell. Okay. Yeah, that's dwell. a. Uh, yeah, because there is a in specific words, word. Abide in those things. The, the, yeah. The, the 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 word praxis is. Uh, all right. All right. Well, I should have brought it up. I'm yeah, I know. To do it. I'll look it up. You keep talking. I got it. You go ahead. There should be music playing in the background while, while we're doing this. Yeah, Philippians one. 4, 9, Greek. 8. No, the word practice is in 9. It, it, it it's is it, it's it's present. Yeah, it, it's a present. It's a present tense. Right. So it's keep repeated. on. It, it's Perform keep. Repeated. It's keep on doing. Yeah, it's okay. keep on doing. All right. So yeah, but that's important to know. I mean, right. It's, it's, it's a yeah. it's a present tense, but it's the word to practice. Yeah, uh, where where we get the where we get the sense of practical things uh, in that. So, so uh, again, he talks about contentment. Again, that's we can be content because we know the Lord is at our side and He's ready to act. Right. We know that our petitions will be heard by Him. We know that He's gonna, uh, yea, though I walk through the valley of, of the shadow of death, we know that He's gonna anoint our head with oil. We know that He's gonna prepare the finest banquet. We we can be content no matter the situation. 
in our life right now, we can be content because we know well, we've got a God who's going to provide whatever. Not only could we, we should be. We, you know, well, and that's difficult. Right. I mean, we could be at any time, but right. we should be at all times. Correct. And, that's the and because of our human nature, it's could be rather than should be. Yeah. <laughs> uh, be, because, yes, we do get overwhelmed with life at times. Now, that verse 13. Yes. Um, Go ahead. I know you had something on Right. I, again, people misuse this, you know, especially you hear uh, with football players. You know, after they've had a great game or whatever, I they quote, well, even Tim Tebow had Philippians 4.13 in, <laughs> in, his, in his black eye black. Uh, he would have, you know, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. It, it's, it, he's not a... Uh, it's all it, it, these it's, things. It, it's, it's not a magic formula. It, it, and, and it can, because really that word for can do, it's real, it's real, it can be translated because it, the, the base form of it comes from the word strength, the Greek word for strength. I will be strengthened by through him by him i will be strengthened by him who empowers me because the word for strengthen is really that sense of it's it's dynamos dynamite right. he will dynamite me he, he will empower me so so really if you want you can translate it i will be strengthened by him who empowers me but to me it takes that it's, but to keep it in contact it's a, talking about what we just read being able to do these things that he's just told us. Right. But it's, it's not, hey, I can pick this car up. <sighs> you know. I, I I can be I can be content. That's really the sense is I can be content because he is going to strengthen. Oh, yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Right. Right. Yes. That that's the that's the Psalm twenty three in that one. It's it's not this. Oh, I can do whatever I you know. No. Yeah. If if if, if you don't have great intelligence, you can't have straight A's. <laughs> right. I never had straight A's. I I have what they call the I pass by the skin of my teeth. I mean, I was not a good student. I'm, I'm looking for skin on those. Well, things. these are fake in front. Oh. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that's so, a bridge. <laughs> yeah. So, so, no, so uh, again, this whole thing is reminding us God's got this. Yeah. God's got the trust in Him. Let let Him prepare those things for us, so we can be content in this world. Yes, there are going to be things that shake us up, that bother us, that concern us. I, I know, you know, you've talked in the past about the whole political thing. It's scary. And, and then, and then, and then we've talked today, and then I we've know. talked about, you know, what's going on in the world today. Folks, God's got it. How it's going to turn out, don't know. But will he get us through? Well, I know how it's going to turn out. Well, yeah. It's prophesied. It's going to get worse. Right. It, no, then, there will be a banqueting table that, at that, the end. That, that, that the elect will barely get through it. You know, I mean, we know it's going to get worse. Well, and and sometimes the getting through is dying. Yeah. yeah. But that's the ultimate getting through. Whatever it takes. Yep. Yep. So. You ready? Uh, yeah. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> then just say a prayer. Oh, I was going to say, oh. you know, I was, I, seriously, I was never a good student at school. And I never could figure out why I couldn't get things down. Of course, later they always called me a daydreamer in school. Yeah, you go, you get into the weeds but, all the time. But now, you know, it's called attention deficit disorder. Mm -hmm. You know, they put a title to it, and because they put a title to it, I've learned that not only do I have to read, I have to speak it. You know, and, and there's ways of, of, of overcoming things. And it was difficult in school for me to get. I cannot believe how easy it is to get into the Word. God has, has, has helped me overcome that. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I just had to share that. I can do all things. <laughs>
I will be strengthened by him who empowers me. And he has empowered me to be able to do this. That Isn't it? It's, I, I love translating it that way. It, yeah. it, it takes it away from how cultural, yeah. that whole cultural connotation with it. It no longer becomes a, a t-shirt or a mug saying. That's true, it but, doesn't. Anyway, okay. Father, we thank you for the for the time that you have given us this day, this, this morning. Uh, for those of us who are here, and those of, who are watching or will watch, we give you thanks, Lord, that you will continually send your word forth. Thank you that Pastor and I are being used as your instruments to do this. So bless your word, your works. Watch over us and keep us all safe in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. And we will see, uh, well, some of you will be seen on Sunday. <laughs> yeah.